In this video how to transfer toner directly onto your 3D prints. There's lots to unpack in this video so on the way past clicking like and subscribe, check out the chapters if you want to get straight to the process itself. But to start with, learning how and why this process works. We'll be transferring our image onto this transparency film. So if you don't know what that was used for in the past. It used to be used on one of these behemoths here, the overhead projectors. So the film would be on the base, it would project through this lens and onto the wall. So I'm going to print toner onto the transparency using the zero graphics process. So, so what's toner? Toner is just crushed up plastic. So as soon as it gets hot, it melts and sticks to whatever it's being applied onto. Start with a blank piece of transparency film. Toner will be transferred onto the transparency film using the zero graphic process and just before it comes out of the printer it gets melted on with a fuser at around 100 degrees. And then we're going to get our filament and print over the top of it. Because this filament's also hot the uh, toner will want to transfer onto the hot filament. So in theory our transparency film should be blank now because all the toner has been transferred onto the filament. And the problem we have here is these gaps. So between these gaps, if it's not flat, you'll have see white lines, vertical lines, straight lines, zigzag lines, whatever you're using for your first layer, as white. So we need to tune our first layer as much as possible to get this squished down as flat as we can. So with a few tweaks, we can reduce this gap, but what we want it to do is to look completely flat. So we want it to look like this ultimately, so there's no gaps and the cone is transferred completely across. So I know all you inkjet owners out there are saying, can you do it with your printer? And the short answer is no. Toner printers print onto the paper, whereas inkjet printers print into the paper. And it uses heat as well for toner. You'll be asking, why do those real estate signs use inkjet printers, but the inks don't run? It's because they use special UV inks with a lamp, which cures it as it prints. So they'll, they'll never run. They still don't use toner, and they still don't use heat. So you still can't use it. So if you need to do this, you'll definitely need a toner-based machine. With all that said and done, let's get on to our first transfer. If you've got your job printed out, just trim it out and make sure you have enough room around the edge if you're using a brim. You don't want the nozzle hitting the edge of the print. Just mark it as well, just make sure you've got the right side facing up. You don't want to try to transfer when there's no toner there. Once that's done, start the job you want to print on the machine and then let that run until it's completed its first layer and then cancel the print job. So what we're going to use is we're going to use that as an outline to place our image in. Once the job's finished, place the image where you want it to be and then saddle tape it down. I'm not the pioneer of this process, so check out the Reddit link below. They use water. I've not, not sort of needed to do that myself. Uh, the results seem to be the same with or without water uh, for me. And then start printing the same job again and let it run until it's finished. Once it's all done, uh, well this job was quite thin so I wanted to make sure it didn't bend when I pulled it up, just make sure it doesn't crack the toner. And then once it was all peeled up and I turned it over it looked like it was a pretty good transfer. So easy is that right? Well, not really. It took me lots and lots of testing to get this right. So what I'll do is I will leave a link in the show notes so you can see what settings I'm using now to give you something to work from. This machine doesn't have auto bed leveling or anything like that, so you might knock it out of the park straight away. In fact, it's got no hardware modifications um, at all. So you're not stuck with using transparencies. You might find them hard or they're expensive to purchase. I've had some luck with something called freezer paper. And it's just paper with like a plastic coating on it to stop your food from getting freezer burn in the freezer. But you can print onto it as well. You can't just feed it straight into the machine because it's not it's not very strong. It's like um, baking paper with with a plastic coating. And what you have to do is get your regular sheet of paper and sellotape tape the freezer paper on top of that, and then print onto those two sheets of paper at the same time. Problem with that with my printer anyway, it struggles to get all the toner across. So I need to do some tweaking to improve it, but it, it seems to work fine. The only sort of downsides is you can't line it up as well with the transparency, obviously, because you can't see the paper, can't see through the paper. And the finishes, rather than that super glossy finish you get with transparencies, it's sort of a matte finish. So if you do use OHPs or transparencies and you want to use them again, 
uh, as long as it's not damaged you should be able to feed it through the printer again you might have some toner residue on there but uh, toner melts away if you use acetone so just wipe it off with a bit of acetone and you should be good to go thanks for the reddit moderator for sharing the process he's helped me out a bit to get this up and running the past couple of days uh, aside from that thanks for watching well you made it all the way to the end uh, you should definitely subscribe and youtube thinks you'd like this video next